Okay, welcome along. In this GeoGebra app, uh, we work out <coughs> distance between two points. In particular, two points that are not horizontally aligned or vertically aligned. Because for those, it's really simple. You don't. You just need to take the difference between the non-like coordinate. For example, h take away two six. Four take away minus five would be nine. See, it's nine jumps between them. But in particular, when they're at a skewed angle to each other, then we want to use the distance between two points formula, which is essentially Pythagoras. Okay, so let's take a random example here. Let's just begin with a hint to show the you set up a right angle triangle which is aligned horizontally and vertically which has its other sides other than the hypotenuse aligned horizontally and vertically okay let's just see can we, we bump that up another one so that the two numbers are different okay so we see here that the horizontal difference is four and the vertical the y difference is five okay so let's see how the calculation goes You're getting the difference between the x's, which is 1, take away minus 3. And of course, because you're after climbing back this one here, you're climbing back another tree. It, it makes sense that minus minus 3 is plus 3. Okay, so you'll have a 4 squared here. The difference between the y values, minus 2 and minus 7, is simply minus 5. We, sorry, it's plus 5. Okay, and of course the magnitude of these don't matter by the time you've done squared. So let's see what I mean by that. Let me square up. So you end up with 4 squared and 5 squared. And that's the square root of 16 and 25, which is the square root of 41. 41 is prime. If it's a prime, it's not a perfect square. It doesn't have any square in it. So um, after that, you can approximate it, but you've got the exact answer here and the approximate answer here. Okay, so you can keep making up random questions for yourself or you can model what question you've been asked in your book for homework and so on like this. You can roll in and out to get a larger or smaller scale. So it's very versatile and it's both a calculation tool and a teaching tool. Thank you.